Hey guys and welcome back again to me Ben playing CD Skylines today in my city of Spring Valley. Yeah, today I'm as promised back again with an airport day. Um, so the huge plan is to set up an international airport over here. So it's a huge area and I think this should be sufficient enough for me to build a nice and uh, working airport actually. I do have some train connection over here, which is good. I do have a lot of highway connection and also one of the more rural roads here. And it's also close by the um, cargo airport that I have here. Um, so I think this is a very good spot for me to build uh, this new kind of uh, structure in my city. But first things first, and I wanna say thank you, Ray, for pointing things out to me. And I'm not a hundred percent sure because, like you mentioned in one of your last comments, that uh, I might be missing. Um, oh, now I know what you mean. Okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, I get it. So. What I completely missed is that I'm missing here one additional highway connection, which is east to north. And yeah, honestly, this wasn't on my mind and I didn't really figure this out, uh, to be honest. But yeah, I want to make sure that I'm incorporating this first before I'm spending my time on the airport. So um, yeah let's get going and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel i would very much appreciate it if you did so and yeah if you want to leave me a comment or leave me a like on my video i'm more than happy to reply to your requests or questions or comments at any point in time thank you very much so let's get going without any further ado So I would say um, thanks again, Ray. Um, <laughs> I think this was a, a way easier fix than I actually expected. Um, but yeah, you were absolutely right. Like this connection was missing something over here. And thank you for watching out for that so closely. And now I want to get started with, yeah, moving ahead to this strawberry airport. Uh, city airport here so I'm um, I'm just second guessing I think I'm starting with the most important structure um, right away and yeah which is obviously the terminal for now um, I haven't built like a city airport uh, so far so I'm very curious to get started on this and it will be definitely something new for me here. 
um yeah so please stay tuned for the next few minutes um i'll stop in between every once in a while just to make sure that i can explain to you things a little bit better and yeah now let's get started and let's get going thank you very much for staying tuned So that's about the first basic layout here um, for my international airport or my city airport. Um, I'm just right now thinking about how to get a proper highway connection done. And honestly, I'm struggling a little bit with this like very, very basic uh, standard diamond interchange that I have here. Um, because those like vanilla more or less vanilla 
diamond interchanges. I don't like them at all, to be honest. Because they look so, like, yeah, it's like made on grid, grid paper. And that that's what it looks like. And I think this is not even reasonable having here. I don't know, 40 feet, uh, 45 degrees angle um, from a road, like just, yeah, leaving this highway and heading into this highway. It's not really reasonable, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's not even space saving at all, um, unfortunately, but I do see some challenges coming along, especially when it comes to how can I make sure that the traffic that's probably incoming here is not uh, running into any issues. Um, yeah, with my in and outgoing, I have to say, yeah, it's not running into any issues when it comes to my um, highway connection, my interchange here. So I'm thinking about creating like bigger um, roundabout here with the purpose to yeah, just be on the safe side to have enough space in between. Um, it's a huge build. It will cost Spring Valley a lot of money to actually build this. Um, but in the end, I hope it's like worth all the efforts that I'm currently undertaking because you never like you never really know right away. I do like, yeah, you can kind of know right away whether it does work or whether it doesn't work because I could easily like check it over here, lead something up there and then have one lane coming in just from this highway connection and have maybe another one heading over from here but still I have not connected like this here that also needs something new so yeah what I basically have to do now is um, making sure that I'm yeah not losing any kind of potential here when it comes to building that kind of intersection and maybe I need to create just something new here because I never really liked this anyway like it's yeah it is what it is like it's a standard intersection and it's nothing else and maybe I can lay something underneath and work my things around here I just have to figure it out because this airport like it's not too big yet but over time, like I'm just fearing that it might become way bigger than I intended it to be in the very first place. And yeah, maybe I, yeah, you might argue I don't need the second runway and this is only a waste of like, yeah, waste of space and whatnot. But yeah, let's give it a try. I'm. I will have to demolish this here anyway, some point in time. So I'll figure it out how I can build something a bit more, hopefully a bit more beautiful. So I'm deleting this here now um, and trying to plan out a completely new structure here um, for, yeah, in the next couple of minutes. So I won't keep you waiting. I, yeah. I hope you're still staying tuned here because uh, this will take me a little bit. But I'll be back for you as soon as I'm done with this. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And hear you in a minute.
so now I'm at a point in time where I need to check my lanes uh, sorely because I'm not 100% sure whether I missed something and yeah like that's not true like I'm almost sure that I missed something um, so I need to check um, all my lanes coming in and I think I'll start with the um, with these two connections here so like this here oh let me build that first so I'm building a couple more connections so that it gets more reasonable for me and also for you to follow me um, like follow my thought process here because it's actually a bit difficult more difficult than I thought it would be um, yeah so I'll finish that for now and I'll be right back so yeah let's get started so I can come down here I can follow all the way through I can turn left here which is good and um, yeah I can follow all the way through and get over here so that's that's pretty fine because I can also get off here turn around there and get back to here so that's also good same thing this highway here I can follow all the way through which is good then I can make this turn I can get over here long detour still works um, so I could get uh, there is already one thing that's actually missing and this is how do I get from here to there is there any option for me to do that okay so that's one of, this one is a red flag this one here I can come here I can get there but I can only come here like I can't make this turn here um, then I can come from here get to why should I probably make this you this turn here why well, I should maybe I have to um, so let me think. So probably something like this here. And then I follow all the way through 12 steps. I know that I have another option there um, actually available, but I want to take away some of the yeah the load of this thing here so this is connected that works you can get through here you can go straight but what you can't do is turn around there what you can't do is turn around there uh, which is absolutely ah uh, I would say almost annoying well, I'm building something like you can see it's not even less um, difficult Or less challenging than the classic diamond interchange and will probably or not only probably but most likely take away even more real estate space here uh, from my airport area but still I want to just want to make sure that I have a nice entry and exit point here uh, to that kind of roundabout so I have to take 
that into consideration and maybe make some weird turns here and there. Um, so maybe there's not an option around that. So this can go straight, go here, but it can't go there. And I'm just wondering, should I lay something like as a second level over here? Or probably I'll give that a try. Let me check and see. So I'll continue building this um, while I'm still thinking and trying to figure things out. Um, and I'll be back for you in a bit.
I honestly have to laugh a little bit. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest, weirdest, probably weirdest spaghetti interchanges that I ever or intersections that I ever created. So what I'm going to do now, because I fear I'll need it. Like it's a four lane highway with sound barriers and what I'm going to get started with and ending with is four lane sound barriers. So I'm upgrading right now. First of all, all incoming and all outgoing roads. Um, also over there, like I have to make sure that's the connection coming in here. I'm going out there. Oh, probably bridge mode. Yeah, fine. Um, so I have to make sure of here um, that all of the incoming and outgoing connection is wide enough, wide, wide, wide enough to make this even work. So if like if I'm considering so this is becoming, yeah, so I'm always taking the smallest options first. So I am also changing this here to bridge mode already. Um, so I'm always going for the smallest first. This here boils down to, let's say, one. So now we have two going out of here, becoming three, and then again, down into one, boiling down into one, and again, bridge mode here, ah, doesn't make, ah, didn't take it, um, boiling down into one, I wish I had two here, yeah, however, I gotta make it two all the time, and now this becomes one again. That becomes one. So that's that works. This works. This is really weird to change, honestly. So that's becoming one. This has to be a two, two off. And yeah. You can see what I'm doing here, basically. And I think you get a basic feeling of why I'm doing this and how I'm doing or trying to accomplish that. Um, so let me keep going for now. And I'll be back for you as soon as I'm hopefully done with it. And then I can finally let the game run and sort itself out and then I have a look and see whether everything worked out as intended. So I'll be back for you.
So guys, if I'm not mistaken, potentially this whole construction thingy works out. So there are a few more things that I want to take care of. And I think most important is that I need some service roads here. And this actually might be another challenge here. Um, but still, like I'm trying, trying, trying to set this up close by the airport. Yeah, I should probably be able to be able to do that. It's closing in here. That's fine. Then I can probably. Mm, yeah, I'm just curious whether whether that's enough or whether it isn't. Because I want to have a huge fire station here, a bigger police station over there, and also like a hospital. here. So now I just want to move it and align it with the road here ever so slightly so that it still fits into the landscape better and fits the road layout in general. So we could also use um, like the sloping tool here. Yeah, way better. Looks more natural, looks better. So that's my little service road here. Um, I do have some issues with electricity and I think I should go with the classical solar power plant here. I mean, that's something I can pull off here. Um, like leaving this thing. So that makes sense, probably. Uh, just going to the other direction. Shorten things here. Just by a tiny bit. I need a power plant for sure. I need some water for this airport. What else do I need? I have a, what else do I need? Oh, one of those hotels. Uh, not only one of those, I uh, wanted to put down actually a couple of them just to make sure but I'm also attracting a few users here or tourists here. Which would make sense. But two budget hotels, all fine. Then also I need some airline launches. One of those. Here, aviation fuel station. So now I need a few more taxiways as well. It's a never ending story. Oh, well, that's fine.
So now I'm beginning with laying down my water pipes here for the airport. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm fucking freaking scared. <clears throat> yeah, interesting intersection, I would say. <laughs> so let's get started and let's. No, not yet. I wanna. I wanna have a good start here, like proper starting point. That's connected. This is connected. That works. Oh, never on the. Uh, I don't know. Whoosh. So, pulling this off here. Um, let me check. Water. Electricity. That's supply. Wastewater is connected. Garbage. I need some. Some like garbage collection over here. I can't have my um, all my trucks traveling here back and forth to and from the city. So yeah, I'm fucking scared, guys. <laughs> so let's get going. Let's let the games begin, guys, and see what's happening. Just quickly speeding up things. Sorry for spoiling the moment. I'll let it run for a bit. I want to make sure that this is legit what I built here. Oh no, <laughs> guys, I think my airport isn't working. I have no idea. I haven't seen any plane starting or landing ever since. Oh, shoot. How come the water supply is? Maybe that's the reason. Oh, come on, this can't be the reason. What does not work? Is that not connected? Well, it is. Oh gosh. Okay, I can see what's happening here. But still, this shouldn't inflict my airport performance overall. But it seems to, for whatever reason. I'm just curious. Is that changing? Like, I mean, now? Did I pause the game? Yeah, I paused it. Okay, that's supported, 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 which is good. But this could not have been the bad, but it's already a two star thing. 
have no freaking incoming passengers. What's happening here? Why has one for, sorry, one passenger? Crime is an issue. So if that's correctly, like I can see arrivals down there, I'm wondering what this truck's doing here in this airport area. But I can't see any departures or hardly any departures, which is really strange. And maybe I have to bring like a new bus line into it. Um, just to make sure that yeah this is kind of more more reasonable so let me check I'm gonna bring it from from close by the central station back to here so you should bring the subway back to the um, yeah back to the terminal I think so yeah let me take care of that immediately and I'll be back for you So I, I actually gave up on the plan of laying down a subway right away because I think currently I can live without that still. Just wondering, yeah, I got a couple of few more passengers, um, a bit more incoming than outgoing actually, and then also want to make sure about this crime problem like how can this happen that I do have so many issues with crime and this little thingy I don't want to place another police station here like why should I there's no garbage operating only, but why does it complain? Like it's complaining because of the subway, isn't it? Ain't it? So I'm just, why? Where is that coming from? This kind of subway is not connected and that's maybe what's bothering here. 
a lot of passengers getting out. No, there aren't. But if buses come in, honestly, I can't imagine that. Like, no passengers are coming in. This is impossible. Like, this is literally impossible. I think. So let's do it like this here. And probably I'm setting up a few more taxi stands everywhere. Anyway, I should probably do that here. So everything that's kind of touristy should have a taxi stand, I think. Even that thing over here, like it's an official train station. So why, why should this? Why should this not have a taxi depot, taxi stand somewhere? The other thing is, do we have a taxi stand here? Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, we do. That's ridic kind, kind of ridiculous, honestly. Well, at least some planes are coming in and some are heading out. So it might just take a while before things actually get better here. Hopefully they do. But why? Why? Police. Why is this such a challenge? Because there are two police stations around the corner, so why, why are you complaining, man? It's ridiculous. Like you all have access to it. It's not that. It's not that it shouldn't work or can't work or whatever. So I'm putting in a few more notes here. here but no crossing but a middle thing that's far enough yeah that's easy enough for them to cross and as the traffic here slow slowing down anywhere thought I th saw something over there but maybe that's not significant enough so I think think like guys if you have any recommendation here um yeah i would very much appreciate if you did help me out um because i'm literally confused guys i'm absolutely confused well i'm i wasn't expecting this to thrive right away but like just a few buses and a handful of oh probably a park Parking lot. Would a parking lot make sense? Having a parking lot here. Just thinking. Yeah, let me give it a try. Like I'm just giving it a try to see what's coming out of there. Out of this idea. Um so yeah, I'm picking the taxiways now. So let's connect this up. Let's connect that up here. I want to give this a try. Service road. So I need a service road probably. Why can I have a huge parking lot? Why can I have it? Could put one down right in the middle. I could also move this hotel somewhere else. Yeah, I think I have to rearrange a few things first, so I'm doing that just to win some win some space here. Yeah, let me let me rearrange things first for you and then I'll be back.
So guys, I think I upgraded many, many things like I put down some banks and post offices, some taxi stands. Um, I established a new bus line to the Strawberry City Airport. I put in some disaster response, uh, response things and also some uh, radio towers down um, just to make sure that my citizens feel more safe and secure because um, I think this might help with establishing and getting more growth into my city uh, which I would very much appreciate um, right now I'm back and forth between losing money winning money whatever but in general like I'm getting back a huge sum again on a weekly basis so I should be fine with that and yeah so far so good like the um yeah commercial airport or let's say the regular airport here doesn't perform as much as this weird cargo airport here where train uh trains yeah yeah planes are lining up um so i'm i'm wondering what might be wrong with this uh, but on the other hand like so far i'm pretty happy with its performance it's already a three star now i'm just wondering also why do i not get this like police thing in yeah kind of regulated because i do have three two big and one small police stations here really close by and i'm just wondering where this is coming from because i simply honestly don't understand it this is not regular behavior at least from my point of view um yeah and the other thing is do i really need that many um like taxiways here i have never seen one single plane traveling down here and not coming back so i'm wondering is this really required um i do have a couple of uh, like airline lounges actually three in total uh, oh no four even four um so i should be all good for my impression with that airport and i'm quite happy how this intersection <laughs> even if it's kind of a spaghetti intersection but it's yeah it gives everyone a chance to connect to the airport and to leave the airport uh, properly into various different directions so it's kind of reasonable like you know it should be okay mm. I have just one thought in my mind. No, this is actually possible. Yeah, this actually is possible. So, yeah, if, mm, buses can get everywhere. I established a bus route back to the main uh, train station in my Spring Valley, city of Spring Valley here. Um, yeah, I think it should be all set at least for now and also like garbage collection why is that an issue i do have that recycling station absolutely close by um it's operating normally it has enough reserves um but still that main building is causing a lot of lot of issues and i don't i don't get it I currently don't get it. So if you guys have any recommendations regarding this or have any hint that helps me um, sorting those things out in the end, um, I would very much appreciate if you left me a like. Um, yeah, but for now, I think I'm closing down this episode. So I would like to thank you very much for joining me again. Um, in case you haven't left me a like yet or haven't followed me yet, I would very much appreciate it if you did so. Because obviously, City Skylines 2 is coming up. 
I'm getting less and less excited about it. I'm excited about many, many features, but the recent like developer, uh, developer previews, I wasn't very much excited about this. I don't want to follow um, the life of a single citizen, to be honest. As a matter of fact, this is just one thing. But yeah, in the end, it's becoming the game it is, or it will become whatever it is in the end. Um, yeah, and we'll figure it out from there. So have a good one. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you soon back here on my channel. Thanks a lot. I'm Ben, your city builder. Have a good night.